Anyway, hello and welcome. This is going to be a brand new video, uh, obviously. Uh, we're going to be playing as Blackbeard Cartel, um, because I would like to try and form Orgelifar, and we failed in multiplayer. Uh, we failed bringing the multiplayer into single player, and now we're going to go straight up from 1444 single player and try and form Orgelifar. And, uh, yeah, try and just have fun with the uh, Dwoos, Grig. Sitting on a small rock, surrounded by the bodies of dead goblins, cleaning his axe with a rag that he'd ripped off one of the less unkempt looking creatures. Around some of the dwarves were sifting through bodies for any loose valuables and setting up a perimeter watch. The cartel was well oiled machine by now, barely needing Dwoos Greg's input to function. Finished cleaning and looked around more closely. It arrived in what had to be an old hamlet built on the side of the rail track and taking care of its previous occupiers. It surprised it was a fine place to rest well uh, before continuing deep into the tunnels. Uh, if you would like to pause and read the rest, then you can. But we have, uh, we, we've, we've, uh, we've rested a sufficiently long silence. Uh, we've now given the order to get into marching formation. Let us go. So, Black Bay Cartel. We are starting off, obviously, as migratory in the Serpent Spine. And uh, first thing we'll do, we cannot see any uh, places to explore. So, we're going to immediately start migrating north. Uh, I would like to start building some troops as well. Um, and we are going to, with Ancestor Worship, go with... See, I know I can pick two. We might be lucky and get three. Um, I think Dev Cost is definitely going to be one that we use. And I'm probably going to take the Settler Increase as well. Because I do want to go with um, the originals. Um, and again, if you ask me to be cavalry, it's not going to happen. Not only can I not build cavalry, I refuse to build cavalry. It's not going to happen at all at any point. Uh, but I will start renaming some people. And we're just going to go with that. There we go. Uh, we're going to go with Skilled Adventure Captain, and he is going to be our general. Not bad, getting the Foreshock. I like the Foreshock. Very nice indeed. Oh. There we go. Never seen a whole jaw cut game? I have a whole jaw cut game on my channel. Uh, you should go and check that out. Wait, no, Hull Jarkard? No, I didn't. I did Hull as Crackers all. That's a different thing. Hull Jarkard, there isn't any content there. So, no. Don't think you'll fight. Excuse me, anyone doing that until that changes. Entrepreneur is not terrible. But I don't plan on him being my long term ruler anyway. Also, for people asking, isn't, like, Orgelivar in the name of the stream? I'm just, I'm just, I'm just wondering. I think that is the case. So, yeah, Blessing for the Faith. I'm just going to pick it now. And, sure, it probably won't be something that we need super late on. But if I'm going to go Pantheon anyway, it's fine. General Kenobi's regiment. What is this soundtrack? What am I listening to right now? I didn't choose this life, it chose me? What the fuck? What's that from? Quick, before it ends, shit. I think it ended. Oh, there it is. Songs of Regency? I don't remember ever hearing this, and it's a DLC track? Huh. Pretty cool. You don't need Serpent Spine stuff outside of Suburban Street, so I wouldn't focus on that first. You'd be busy enough with Bulwar. Yeah. 
I think uh, it'll be much easier as well to get stuff there. We can migrate again. We got some gold. All right, we see uh, our first expedition. We will be grabbing it. You're not sure if it's worth delaying the migrations for expeditions? I am 100% certain that it is. Uh, because Treasures of Our Forefathers is huge, and Settlement Consolidation is huge. Getting these is worth doing all of the expeditions you can find. One, 100%. Absolutely 100%. They get three disasters at the same time in 100 years. Yeah, there is some, some holds can get some real fucking horrible ones, for sure. And we can migrate here in on the 11th. Obviously, we want the money. Uh, you know what? That's pretty good to get goods produced until the end of the game. Who knows what this will end up being. That's, that's worth so much money uh, on uh, on gold. Maybe this is something that we will re-roll eventually. If we remember. Why can't I migrate? I can migrate. Alright. R.I.P. gold. It's in Serpent's Bloom, of course. What is this? Hidden in the mountains? What? Oh, right, of course be on an expedition target. Right. So, expedition target. Firstly, you three get out of here. You want to go to the bottom of this, because uh, when you do an expedition, it takes from the top. Expedition menu. It is a copper short, so this is bloody piss easy. Organize the expedition. Start. Uh, we want to send 4,000 troops. And we want to do 60 supply. And uh, that should be it. I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna throw a little bit of morale in there though. Start that expedition. And then these three. Get back at the top. Lovely. Absolutely beautiful. And drill again. And we're going to increase our army size. So up here, there's nothing yet. If this guy goes here, we could have a quick war. I have cost modifier on my main dude sucks at. You know what? This is fucking single player. This is single player. We are birding that fucking um, trait. We're birding that trait. I don't give a fuck. You know what, if there was a mod that when you developed a hold, it launched you into Dwarf Fortress and you had to develop your hold yourself, that would be funny. Don't know what the fuck that's all about. Okay. Alright, Dwoos, Greg. Pick something good this time, you... Frick. Eh, nah, 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 we can do better than this. We can do better than this. Watch, him, watch me fucking re-roll until we get fucking mage. Not gonna happen, but it'll be funny. I can think of a few different traits. Um, the one where I can get uh, the, the, what's called, extra settlers will be nice. Why bother he's going to die? No, no, no. He's 51, so I got him for like 150 years at least. Idea cost, we'll keep it. Freethinker is good. We'll, we'll keep Freethinker. 
use a command to get mage then? No. There is there are levels to uh, the amount of cheating, I guess, that I'm happy with. Reloading a save and getting another random reroll, I'm fine with. Just using a command, I'm not fine with. Oh, snap! Send the bitches back out. We got a war to do! I, th I wish this all just, like, stayed open from the very start all the time. Oh, yeah, I'll rival you as well so I can get some pee-pee. Wait until... That... Uh... And a monstrous conquest. Boom, let's go. I got a four shock. What do you got? One? Pathetic. You suck. Also, I have extra tech on you. I, sh I probably should have taken that already. Uh, but yeah, we're gonna go murder him. Uh, Mopthod Dwarva. Let's go. We'll get ourselves a conquistador. And he is. Ah, he could be worse. Could be worse. Also, I'm now going to take... Oh, there's a trade efficiency there, so we could roll... No, I don't think I want to roll for um, the trade influ... influ eh, not influence. Uh, inflation. I don't want to roll for that yet because I believe we're probably going to be capped on monarch points at some point. I'll wait until I have uh, a hold and I'm settled before I start worrying about that. Yeah, I'm going to march back before I uh, peace out. Going to own it. Go. Boom. Done. Get purged. Motherfucker. Anyway, migrating back. Bloody serpents bloom. Bloody heck. Anyway, I can go back to drilling. You get one level one advisors. Yeah, I, I feel like a level one advisor is fine. I just don't really want to go for the... Um, don't want to go for the... I can't remember what the fuck thing's called. I can check here. Radical reforms. I feel like that would be bad. Forgot the humiliate. Oh, you know what? No, I couldn't have humiliated... You can't humiliate and conquer at the same time. Also, yes, you, you got I got it from purging. So we were fine. We're good. I had forgotten about that, Rex Cronum, so thanks for pointing out. Although, humiliate rival is here as well. Eh. Anyway, we can migrate... Oh, now. And migrate before this even popped up. Very cool. Iron, not bad. Though I'm not a fan of the meager amount of things that we're seeing so far. I think I'm going to go East Fisher, then up here, and go around that way. Because there might be some here that I'd like to see. And with Ovdal Lodum going south, we're not in any danger. Send the army out to explore? Nope. Absolute waste of uh, manpower. Absolute waste. Because there's we're not at a high enough tech level that these are trivial fights. It's better to wait, in my opinion. I can humiliate Lodom and Vassalize them. True. Usually I wouldn't humiliate them, and I would just kill them and then release them. But yeah, you're probably right. To get the uh, thing might be a good idea. Uh, gain of stability, I think I'll take. Yep, and this is why we did it. Trim Cave. Farming army tradition. I don't know. I'd rather just sit and drill. But 
The road in front of Avdol Lodom is critical. True. But even if they started colonizing this, I can, uh, as long as they don't finish the colonization, I can um, take it and burn it. It's it's not a problem. What happened to the Blackbeard MP? Uh, I got murdered by uh, Darkscale. Or, there was 20 minutes left in the session and I quit before they did it. Because uh, they were going to. You always consider the defender when you wander into an uncolonized province. True. I know. Anyway, we migrating. Let us once again get you out so that uh, we're not sending uh, named people to their um, room cave thing. Orcsfall doesn't have anything. All right, but we're doing another expedition. This time, Mithril Long. Oh boy, it's going to be expensive. So let's start. Uh, we are going to send 10,000 men. We need full morale. Which is... I could do... I'll just do that. It's 10 is the max. Org is like 165. Um... I'm, I'm going to do 175, just because I'm scared. Um, supplies, obviously 100. We're going to go full... Uh, do we go full admin? No, we don't go full admin. All right, share. we're going to do 200. This is going to be super much um, of a payoff. I got a lot of spare mill power, true, but my first idea is going to be defensive. Alright, I'm pretty confident that this is going to work. I, I'm so confident, in fact, that we're going to put the save in here. I probably should have done the save before I clicked Start Expedition, but, you know, whatever. How about innovative for the RP factor for the tech dwarves? Uh, I think by the time I take the first idea group, though, it's it's not RP to go in out because we're not the tech dwarves. We just have a we have a a meta plan to become them. Whereas we are dwarves, and therefore defensive is always the meta plan. And here's what we want. The ancient dwarven knowledge. That's like super, super important. Are dwarves still super slow with innovation in the lore like Warhammer? Uh, I mean... No, I mean, they get innovativeness. We're currently losing it because we don't have the, the next tech, but it is what it is. Find a different path. That's good. Maps are useless, but I do want the Adventure Unity, because that's money. We're obviously not going to migrate yet. Three more Ancient Dwarven Knowledge. Each one of those Dwarven Knowledges, by the way, is 15 uh, Government Reform Progress. So we currently have five. Five times 15 is, what, 300? No, that's definitely not true. Uh, 75? We're doing pretty well. Uh, losing morale is bad. Losing half morale is fine. We'll do that one. Remnant hole start off in a disaster where the whole point is bloody hell. We're so stagnant and hidebound. We need to sort this out. Yeah, that's why the best way to do of Del Kanzad can be that's worrying. That's very worrying. That's super fucking worrying. I need to get here before he finishes this colony. 
one year, two years, three years. That saving arrow, yes. They'll have around about they'll have around about thirty thousand soldiers. He's decolonized that. Interesting. And now he's gone again. Maybe you should put some troops here, my guy. Oh, we're getting so much knowledge. So much fucking knowledge. Oh, look at that. Man's built himself a workshop. And... I don't know what that one is. What, sorry, yeah, what was I saying about Kanzad? Yeah, the best way, or uh, I think a good way of uh, doing Kanzad is starting as Rajnahaga. And when you are playing as Rajnahaga, then going and f uh, conquering and forming uh, Kanzad. Ooh, 50% cheaper guy. I like that. Migrate next to the hold so you can take it and purge warband. Yeah, no. I mean, I could go here, conquer it, and then purge warband. Because I can just burn this. I just need to get to here. But I need to get it there before he finishes this colony, otherwise... I mean, it's not the end of the world, because I can go down, and then here, and then here, and then up. But if he then colonizes right here, then I'm fucked. I'm very, very fucked. What I should be doing, actually, is... Building more troops. His colony growth can't be that high. Oh no, his colony growth would be fucking terrible. Ancient door... And there. 15 times 14. We're gonna get so fucking much. So, we're gonna go um, call to the surfacers, I think is... Yeah, the global settler increase is super nice. And then we're instantly also going to get... Hmm. Yeah, I like this one, but I don't want the pioneers to be in charge yet. So, I think we leave that one alone. Great project can be built. My guy, are you sure about that? Let me wait one month. I call it a dungeon, but I can't fucking see it. There it is. I want to I want to get it done purely because I'm uh worried that it won't be here if I leave and come back again. Oh, that's so nice. Actually, that's real nice. Anyway, we migrating. So yeah, we're gonna not take this yet. It's triggered by the expedition. It is, but I I am very uh, paranoid that I will lose it. We can migrate... 5th to 10th. Okay. See on the... Oh, now... Now I... Now definitely it is. But it wasn't built. So... Oh, yeah. I don't know. 
I just go, I just get a little worried. I'm allowed to get a little worried. I'm allowed, I'm allowed to be a little paranoid, you know? It's allowed, it's legal. Trust. Which I guess it's ironic for me to say trust when I'm not, I'm the one that's not trusting, but you know, whatever. Dwarves don't fear, and it's not... Paranoia is not fear. There is a big difference. We need to get a claim because the only thing we have right now is humiliate rival. We don't want to do that. We want. Nope. Favorite dungeon? I don't know. I like the one where you had to choose. Um, the the one where it is. Uh, it basically gave you a riddle, uh, and instead of using like green. Yellow and red, it, it used the names of holds. What happened? Oh, we rolled a shitty trait. We're gonna do this again. Mm, nope. Nope, don't want National Arrest. Want something good? I want something good, please. It is important. Yeah, like it, it used, um, like instead of red, it said Gorbrad, and instead of yellow, it said uh, Gulen. I mean, Gulen is like so incredibly on the nose, though, considering Ghoul is the, uh, yeah, I think we keep this one. I don't feel like we need to re-roll this. Uh, ghoul is literally the Swedish word for yellow, so... I'm greeting on leader trades, very dwarfy. Exactly! We are simply doing a little bit of roleplay. Oh, he's running away. The forge one, Lodum last, Grunstad before Gulen. Yeah, that exactly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're not migrating yet. Oh, my Conquistador's dead? Wow. I didn't even fucking use him. That is... unfortunate. Guess dwarves do love min max, and it's kind of where the quality comes from. I guess. What's well, gonna re roll a fucking thing 1700 fucking times? Uh, anyway, I would like to vassalize you. I can't humiliate, but I'm also gonna claim your friend. Wait, if I can't humiliate, then I'm just gonna fucking conquer you. Give me your money, give me your fragments. We now have the Sapphire Gem. We abandon the crack. We release the Lodum. And then as soon as I get home, we migrate. 
<laughs> Fuck, that's close. That is close. I don't want to force migration. Give me the other. There we go. That's the one I want. Anti monstrous. Hopefully, we have enough troops. Oh, <laughs> we might not. We might fucking not. My troops are almost certainly better. Like, <laughs> love, loving these traditions. Loving the traditions. Yeah, you know, it's so based. I just need to make sure that this doesn't hit a thousand. And we're happy. Why did I roll? I didn't want to do that. Didn't want to do that either. Jesus. Just to make sure. I can still take this because I have a, a colonist of my own. So we're not needing to worry there. But that was a little bit tight. Could have rivaled him. Yeah, good point. I don't think we were going to get enough PP to get the extra um, things anyway. So now we colonize here. Because right now we can't take, like, we couldn't take this, but now we can because I'm now colonizing. Take your money. Uh, you don't have any fragments. Goodbye. Then we recall, we abandon, and we poige. And we migrate. Oh no! Not again. Okay, I got there in time. Oh, there was this as well. Oh, I wish I'd gone here, actually, instead of here. Then I could have gone boom, 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 boom. Oh, you bitch, Marblehead. I don't like that at all. We'll take that. Manpower and true faith is nice. And we're going to do a... Uh, you get out of here, you get out of here. You get out of here. We're gonna do an expedition. This time, silver medium. So, we are sending 7,000 troops. We are raising morale to seven. And a bit, eight. Uh, 135 org. I'm out of mill points. Holy shit. It's annoying how often the outsiders make, um, insist on going into some sign. Agreed. That's 135, and then supplies, uh, we're gonna go 100 supply. And that should do it. So you should have a one province buffer around the entire seven spine. Oh yes, for sure. Uh, spending Dwarven Knowledge gives reform progress. What does storing do? Storing gives uh, 
whenever you dev a hold, it will give you an extra dev. So it is very, very good. Like, it, the, the 14 that I got is basically 14 free dev. Um, but early on, it, I, I just can't see it being worth more than this. Maybe I spend a little bit of mill points on boosting these, and then we can take this. They're Exodus goblins. Don't know what Exodus means. Yeah, they should have a a, a lesser chance of uh, going into the spine. One hundred percent. Now the question becomes, what is my plan? Do I want to go up and grab this? I feel like I do. Go to Shazden here, then back to Cousin Tunnel. Oh, there's also this, though. Looks like Olsen could be on the verge of cutting you off. Um, I think it'll be fine. So that's another bit of that. I think we go... Fast into your backs. Uh, nine. Dwarf depths. Here, here, here. Oh yeah, let's go to Shaz and Deer. Which is also an mission. Give me a little bit of money. I don't think I need this yet. Actually, yeah, I'll take it. Okay. Uh, au irecus. Au irecus. There we go. It's the middle one. I'm pretty sure I'm right here. Can we stab? Hey, I got it right. The wonders of knowing uh, the devs. You can just camp out in a hold and remain as AC. I mean, I think you mean BC. Uh, until you colonize the hold you want to form. Yeah, that's kind of what I did, right? I stayed here and then colonized my way down there in the multiplayer. But this time we only got fucking copper. If this was Mithril, I might have been tempted to do the same again. I don't know about that one. Plus 55 is crazy expensive. Anyway, time to migrate to Baxa. And do another expedition. Silver Long. So, what we want is 9,000 troops to go, but let me check. Alright, those guys are all at the bottom, that's fine still. Morale to be 9 to 10, so still bloody expensive. Org wants to be 140. Again, I'm out of mill points. One 
144 is fine. Um, supplies obviously wants to be 100. Almost certainly is always 100. And then party share. 100 if loot is 900 or 1,000. Uh, I'm I'm gonna do a hundred. So while I think it's a really interesting like system, this this whole doodad, I would prefer very very heavily if you get an expedition and it'll tell you the danger level and the length, and you basically had three options. Um low investment, medium investment, high investment. And that's fucking it. Literally it. Those are your three options and you wouldn't get you you wouldn't have to fuck around with all this shit. Like that would just be so much better in my opinion. I really can't be asked. Like the first time you do it, it's fine. Second time, sure. Third time, yeah, I'm kind of kind of over it. You appreciate the effort. Yeah, no, it's 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 one of those things, right? It is incredibly well done. It is super well done. The the craftsmanship is of supreme quality. Um but it's the same way that I look at, if you know, um, Warhammer miniatures, it's the same as non-metallic metal. You know, people painting their miniatures without the use of metallic paints. Uh, without the use of metallic paints, but making it look like the armor of the dude they're painting is made of metal. It is the the skill floor for that method of painting is way higher than anything that I'm capable of. That, that it takes so fucking much skill to paint non-metallic metal uh, miniatures. And you know what? I'm just gonna pull up. Um... I'm just gonna, just so everyone is aware of what we're seeing. See if I can find pictures. Yeah, like, this isn't 40k, but this guy has painted a, a Sigmarine, right? This looks like it's made of metal. There is no metal, metallic paints. Um, no metallic paints. It's, it, they're painting it with regular paints to look like it's made of metal. And the amount of skill that it requires to do this is fucking colossal. The model would still look better if they used metallic paints. I'm sorry, it, it just is what it is. Your models would look better if you if you just use the thing that you're trying to avoid using. It, I don't make the rules. It just it, it just is that. It, it is what it is. I, I appreciate the effort and the skill, but it would look better if you didn't. <laughs> I appreciate the effort and the skill that goes into knitting woolen socks. But I would still rather wear some cotton ones that I get for for like a quid. It's it's, it, it's just it's the same thing. The, the the level of skill that went into creating all that UI stuff fucking mega. Absolutely mega, but I uh, it's just it, it's not uh Maybe it would have been better if you didn't. Ovdalodum is the hold of love. I have done a Ovdalodum campaign. You can find that on YouTube. Like the 50 dip. Um, I did it for Valentine's Day this year. 
It's a fun campaign. Deep Ruth. Love for everyone except orcs. Yes. The guy's called Orcsbane. Obviously, not anymore. He's now called Grandmaster Th Question Mark. Do we keep... Do we keep Balris Blessed? Do we keep Balris Blessed or do we, do we re-roll that? I know it's not bad. I know it's not bad, but... It's good enough to keep. What else would you want, though? Um, now that we have a colonist, we can run... Um, we can get the settler increase. Expansionist, yeah. Like, expansionist would, would make me very happy. Okay, we'll, we'll keep it. We'll keep it. It's fine. We'll keep it. I'm not going to re-roll a thousand times to get the one I want. Of course, um... It would also be better if I got the, uh... Mage. But, nah. Yeah, we're not doing too badly on the uh, adventure stuff. Don't dwarves have a lower chance to get mage in the first place? Yeah, I think so. I mean, if my if my heir dies, I can guarantee that I get a mage, though. Funny. Uh, yeah, we'll send them back out. And here we're going for treasures of our forefathers. High chance to find gold and mithril when colonizing. Very based. Uh, the build cost one here would have been better as well. We're going to hit the cap on mill point, uh, dip points. So maybe I do just take... Or I could be like mercantilism gaming. You didn't know the reform to that? Yeah, it's real nice. I mean, this one's really good as well because it means I can. Um... Wait, is it this one actually? I think it's fighting the oldest grudge. Means that I can purge no matter how many provinces that I have. So I can colonize the entire Serpent's Reach and then, you know still purge random warbands that I find. But, yeah, no, it's just it's nowhere near as fucking good. And it's very annoying when I fucking build something and then take an idea that reduces build cost. Oop. Um, Xtriver's at the top there, so I do need to... Get people away. Alright. Expedition menu. Gold medium. We want to send 8,000 men. We would like 8 morale. One hundred and forty-five organization. One fifty is fine. Obviously, max supply from admin points. And party share one hundred. Getting a wizard heir is a great idea. My wizard got a renowned necromancy, so I guess it becomes a lich. I really hate making my. Oh, 
I hate making my air, uh, sorry, my, my dwarves liches. I really don't like the idea of dwarven liches. What are the benefits of staying adventure beyond 1494? Uh, yeah, you get to keep this reform. And you get to keep this reform, which is going to give me an extra colonist and settler chance. Oh yeah, I should probably have you... This is a, a medium length, so do I want to... Mage now is 53 months. I don't think we're staying here 53 months. If I get a long... If I, if I get like a Mithra long, then I'll do a Mage Tower. Does the coldness matter? Since you get minus one from tier one reform. That's a good point. Don't judge Dwarf Lich. I will judge Dwarf Lich. Sorry. He gets to live for a really long time if he's going to raise all the answers to fight for the true Dwarven glory. I just... I, I think... I'm too Warhammer pilled. Um, In Warhammer, uh, the dwarves despise the undead. Like... There is nothing on this planet more hateful than the undead. Logram and Logram would not be happy about undead either. I don't know who they are. I assume they're Anbana dwarves. Never knew that any particular reason why. Um, I don't know exactly. I don't remember why exactly. I feel like I should migrate here. Caracan, but no! Fuck off! Holy shit, this guy's huge actually. Do I migrate to Garnet Heart? I feel like I do, yeah. Silver Long! Okay. Once again, gotta get the boys. Wait a minute. Did I lose? Oh, I didn't lose Kenobi. Gotta keep the boys at the back so they don't die. Um, expedition, Garnet Heart. So, for a silver long. We did just do a silver long, actually. Uh, manpower is 9,000. Morale is 9 to 10. Oh my god, I'm, I'm so low on mill points again. Use cash money. But you can't for, uh... For org.
leave the leaf orc, as in Karakanba, you don't you want me to leave him alone? Eh. I don't care. Nice, we get an ancient of knowledge from this one as well. Treasure of Ithnir. I will I will take the treasure. Whatever the fuck it is. We're going Pantheon, right? Yes. Where the dwarves stop blaming their gods for their own shortcoming. <laughs> Look. Dwarves never take the blame for anything. Taking admin ID, uh, admin tech would allow me to get I think I'm gonna do this in in January. Take admin tech and then spend it all on Diplo ideas. Ah, oh, why are we kept on dip? Fuck it, it's fine. All right, we're kept on dip, but we're gonna take admin ideas. Oh, it's so expensive. Don't care. And then we're going to take espionage. Yeah. Yeah, now I'm now I'm don't have any points. Fine. Bucket we ball. Twenty-five year at ten percent is not too terrible. We're fine with that. And I suppose it's not a terrible trade good if they end up, you know, taking it and we need to conquer it off them. Burn the forest down orcs. Well, they can burn the forest down all they like. I don't, I don't care. Not my priority. How are we doing over here? Still, uh, okay. Doesn't look like I'm going here yet. Maybe we can still even get out there. Yeah, we're gonna go here, then here, then here, then here, 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 here. And I know that we can fight Marblehead as well. I know we can, we're, we're allowed to attack them. That's not a problem. So, yeah. Yeah, we go from there. Is there a reason we're not using merchants? Oh, yeah. The reason is I forgot. I turn that into. Oh, we're so close. Oh, fuck it, close. Gems is prestige. I mean, I'm already capped on prestige, but whatever. Also, hey, Joas, long time no see. So we can next to my great. On the third. What's my adventure unity right now? 
Oh, it's already camped. Take the money then. In none of my test games did I manage to get a three grand, so that that's fairly new. Been busy the last few months, but everything's going well. Nice. Glad to hear it, mate. So we have nothing there, we have nothing there, okay. We next migrate thirteenth of the fourth. And, yeah, still planning on moving down there. Um, is the inflation, is the, is the radical reforms now going to help me or not? I feel like we can maybe try and roll for radical reforms. Um, but, um... If I roll radical reforms, I could get just the um, dip as well and not get the admin. That might work out. And we migrate to Angrod. The first time I get salt in a province in the entire game, and instantly it's like, ah. Bloody salt crisis in it, mate. You don't want to lose the reform progress. I'm going to put that to the side for a little while. We just ignore it. Ooh. 30% chance of getting an expedition target. Motherfucker. I mean, it was 50 ducats. It's totally fine to roll the dice on that. Oh no, my general die. Oh, well, whatever. I could do something really dirty. Do I go over and burn this down? I have Humiliate Rival on him. Old VODs is insane. There's like six VODs for some reason. Um, No, yeah. Twitch doesn't automatically save VODs. If you want to look at the VODs, there is a VOD channel. Great, my fucking bot is broken again. Hold up, let me uh, fix that. For some reason, very frequently, the bot just turns the fuck off. Whatever. There, this. It just fucking turns off for no fucking reason. I didn't turn this off. There you go, now it's active. And now it fucking works. I don't know why it's got a dollar sign there. It's it's free. It actually doesn't cost any dollars at all. Fucking Twitch. Anyway, we're migrating. And just to make sure... Guys, go to the bottom. And a silver short. That should not be a problem. So, what we want is about four and a half morale. We're good. Uh, manpower, we want to send 4,000 troops. Uh, org, we want don't want to do anything. Supplies, 60 if you want to be safe. Um, and, and that's, that's fucking it. Oh, nice. We instantly get another expedition there as well. Beautiful. 
Burn scum deer to the ground. It's too late now. It's not technically too late, but it's kind of too late. Here we've got hold restoration. We don't want to take this. We want this one. But we need to have four road provinces before we can do it. Uh, but the fact that we've got here, all our future expeditions, we're going to take hold restoration options. Almost finished SVO ideas. It's crazy how much better this game's gone. Yeah, now we start all this in Baxgus tunnel. Getting found soldiers, let's go. Ancient Dwarven knowledge, yeah, it's now gonna get used for development. Plus 45% kind of sucks, but there's not much we can do about it. Another thousand soldiers? Wild. Uh, half price dip guy, we're going to take him. Take Scomdeer back later. Facts. Alright. Uh, send them back out. And here we're going to do it to improve holds. That's a free bit of dev. And we do another expedition. Gold medium. So, gold medium, we want to send out 8,000 troops. We want to have uh, 8 morale. One forty five org. Max supplies and hundred loot share. Wait, that's three in a row. That's kind of wild. Not going to complain about it. We keep drilling. We keep getting more stuff. I can't do any exploration because my... Uh, Conquistador died. Three Dwarven Knowledge. Okay, this is good. Free, free dev. I'll take it. For sure. For surely sure, that's good. Defensive preparations always. Lost 100 troops. That's fine. Not going to migrate yet. No more stuff there. Ooh. They lost back the tunnel. Had to go again. Interesting. Ooh. Skill 2... Do I want to roll for this? I kind of still want to roll for, um... I want to roll for it. The, uh, the radical reforms. Yep, 
Yo, another blessing. Let's go. Um, we're gonna go fucking idea cost. What did we get? Earthseed is now controlled by Axbello. Is Lodum loyal? Yes. And they are going to go into improving holds. And we are going to take privateers. We're going to migrate in. And another expedition. Gold short this time. So, an investment of 5,000 troops. Um, no investment in org or morale. Supplies of 40. 60 if safe. Okay, we'll go 60. Oh my fucking G! One, two, three, four in a row. Uh, all had expeditions. That's kind of correct. That is indeed kind of correct. Drilling. The ancestors smile upon us. They fucking do. That's a fact. That is an fact. And we're getting dwarven knowledge from this expedition as well. Absolutely based. <laughs> Hopefully, one of these guys has renaissance. I, mm, I could try and dev Lodum. God, they have fucking wine. That's so shit. Wait, they start with wine, don't they? Yeah, they do. Alright, uh, capped on admin. Do that. Name regiment, the faceless ones. Give you this guy because he's fully drilled. Wonder if te deving Lodum would take Dwarven knowledge. Good question. I ain't gonna find out. I need to do something with mill points. You suck. You suck worse. You fucking suck. You suck. Suck. You're good. You so oh, fuck it. <laughs> what the fuck is this? That is dog shit. Holy. Suck. Suck. You kind of suck. Yeah, you suck. But whatever, I can now build supply depots. Uh, let him rest. And that's gonna be improving holds. And I have the diamond gem! Let's fucking go! Uh, purchase an ability. I should not know which one I want. Maybe I could just, like, invest splendor. Either way, let's migrate up. Wait. I was gonna say. Should have kept my uh, my own culture. Uh, anyway, let's see. We've got my named guy is a little bit too high. Gold medium. Alright, we want to send out 8,000 troops. We want morale of 8. We 
want to have 145 org. 150 is fine. We want uh, maximum supplies. And we want to set high share of 100. The worst bountiful harvest I think I've ever experienced. Gelatinous cube, and we got some loot from it. Very nice. Hey, there's the radical reforms. Give me just the diplo points. That lets us take the final idea. Nice goods produced. Didn't know that was in there. Uh, Fort defense and shock damage received is lovely. And let's see, can we reroll? Whatever, you're fine. Maybe tech up? Probably. You know, waste points on the expedition returns is a really good point. Don't know what to do about the admin points, because I don't know about that one. There we go. Ah, oh, hello, Ar Goldston. What are you up to? More Dwarven Knowledge, we like that. That's actually a really scarily big marble head, I'm not gonna lie. Little, little bit worried. Get a thousand soldiers as well on that expedition, very nice. Can I take Shadowstone here and purge Warband on them? I don't know. Maybe. I mean, fuck it. We're, we can we we ball. We can try it with a save, obviously. And with luck, somebody here will have devved Renaissance. With luck. Alright. The holes there. And we migrate. Actually, stop drilling. Oh, they're dying to max... Butcher. I can't purge Warband unless I take, like, if they take all of this, if they full annex, I can purge Warband, like, one tile at a time. I'm gonna click this. If this goes to 11, I'll be annoyed. It didn't. Okay. He's got 30,000 troops. Well, let's see what happens here. Take the decision requirements to see if you can do it on Marblehead. I don't... Oh, it's here. One of all must be true. Uh, it must be cave, undergrowth, fucking coal cave, blah, 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 blah. All right, what are you? You're an exodus goblin. Nope. No exodus on there. Ball egg. 
big ball lake. That sucks. Marble head disappeared. What do we do? We conquer this. And we start colonizing from here. This is going to be kind of awkward. I don't know how I can get here. It sucks so hard. That sucks so hard. I don't want to take plus 90. Sucks so hard. Any chance you're going to be friendly? Yo! Ain't no way they just said yes to that. Oh, but I still can't go here. Fuck. Or the conquistador hadn't died, fact. Chest and Deer also has an expedition target. What if declare on Mass Butcher, Siege on Orson's capital to vassalize them? Siege on Mass Butcher, return Orson cause. But I can on I can't declare on him. I can't. I, it'll be a, a fucking minus five. Uh, only minus two. Only minus two. I have a claim here, but I can't get a claim here. I can't fucking see it. What a such a pain in the fucking ass. Oh. I complained I had nothing to do with the moment points. That's, that's true. And it is true. Maybe after the Marblehead War is over. My army is strong as fuck because of the um, Reclaimer buff. It's completely overtuned to the point of ridiculous.
Not that overtuned. Oh, and I just fucked myself. Guys, guys, look, it's 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 a fucking it's a fucking bird. Guys, look, it's a bird. When you guys look at the bird, squirrels and and such. That's a fucking unicorn right here. Don't even don't even look. Ah, oh, what is that? Oh no. Oh, it's crazy, crazy what you just didn't see. Ah oh, no. Aramagersh bird. Fucking exactly. Shirkin, shirkin. I'm still at war with it. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna end the war. I'm just not gonna fucking march into him. You know. Get a few more troops, and then we'll do it. And a Miltech as well. Naturally. Well, they all sucked. Get a Moralo Disc Advisor. I don't have a Disc Advisor! That's just fucking rude. Come on, give me fucking vision on this. Oh, fuck off. I can't believe that. I just, I just spent out the arse for the fucking tech. Anyway, I'm gonna try this. Ten shock! No fucking wonder! I can now anti monster conquest even though I can't fucking see him. Never know, we might get lucky here.
get a sneaky 19 dev conquest off. But my god, this is fucking annoying. Bruh moment. Not helpful. You're just gonna let me seize your fucking capital? Are you are you actually going to be letting me do this? Oh, you absolute fucking clown. Okay. You wanna you wanna give me what I want then? There's no leader there. I know they're like here or something. Fuck it. Fuck it, we ball! We fucking ball! We do nothing but ball. Goblins, fuck off. That fort only just finished. Well, that was quick. That's annoying. No, I can't let you do that. Yeah, seriously, no. He's gonna do it again, though, isn't he? Uh, yeah, I don't know. It's already fucked. It's damaged. Oh, these guys are orcs. Well, at least we can yeet out the goblins. Best turn to here is now dwarf. Nice. So now we can turn this off. You leave my fucking province alone. That's right. Fuck out of here. Did he turn this into... No, it's still Diamond Dwarf. Kind of unfortunate. If they'd made this into Orc, then we'd actually be bowling a little bit harder. But as it is, we ball right as we are. Colonists are going to send you here. Why is there no music? Oh, maybe we listen to uh, some video game soundtrack or other. What do we want to listen to? Mm -mm. We just go like Baldur's Gate 3 soundtrack again because I had a shit ton of fun last time I was playing this. Baldur's Gate 3 soundtrack is fucking amazing.
All right, platinum medium, my boy. Platinum medium. Down by the river. Uh, let's make sure that my boys are at the bottom. They are fine as they are. Expedition party, start sending 8,000 troops. Morale of eight. Org of 145. Supplies of probably everything, yep. And then party share of 100. And we go. You're now doing your honor month for the achievement? So I... Oh, I'm so tempted. I'm so tempted to re-roll. Yeah, I'm re-rolling that. Fuck you. Um, I uh, was doing an honor run with mods so that I could have a party size of of maximum. Uh, oh, did I actually lose one of my guys? X Driver's regiment is dead. Shit. Um. I was doing, yeah, so the max party size, so I was basically running around with everyone, but then the mod updated. Oh, someone here as well? Fucking assholes. Uh, then the mod updated, and obviously I um, couldn't do it anymore. So yeah, uh, I got a truce with you until 98. You want the lollipop regiment? I mean... Okay. Hey, man, man. How far was I in my run? I was in Act 2. But, like, very early in Act 2. But I had done everything. As in, like, um, the whole Underdark, including the the the, the, the Forge, um, did the whole the whole of uh, Mountain Pass as well. That was fun. I um, oh, actually, I wonder. I wonder. Do I have? Have a picture. Manage my one hundred and twelve screenshot. Did I take a picture of the big the full party altogether? No, I didn't. That's unfortunate. Oh yeah, this was my dark urge run. I, uh, I'm, I made my character look like Alfira, so, <laughs> pretty, pretty based. Can you influence the results of expeditions by using specific party configurations? No, because you can only send infantry. Uh, um, yeah, reclaimer buff is gone, so my eco is now in the toilet. But we're about to core two holds, so I think it's we're going to be able to get back up to... Um, I think we're going to be able to get back up to 24 uh, force limit. For me, the best moment in the whole of Act 2 in the game is particularly seen at the end of Act 2, the night zone. Yeah, no, 100%. Yo, 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 wait, 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 wait. Bring this shit back up. Um, where am I, where am I, where am I? No, wait, don't want to see... Ah, no, no, Twitch, please. Twitch, please. Uh, yeah. This? What a fucking image. So unbelievably based. But yeah, you shouldn't look... Don't look, don't look at the other pictures that I had there. There was a particular section in Act 3 that I thought needed a, a bit more attention, so I took pictures of it. 
Ovdal Tunga Alliance. Nah, fam, we're gonna conquer you. And the music in the cutscene. Oh, the music in Baldur's Gate 3 is just fucking peak. Borislav Slavov did a masterful job. Absolutely fucking masterful. You say you know Catherick as fuck, but Catherick takes out the night song without, like, so much of a, of a, of a, of a sweat, like, zero sweat. He, he bodies her. So hard. Alright, Shaz Tundir is cord. Uh, I would like to bring that autonomy down. I'm going to do the same in Arc Audston. And hopefully that means my force. 18, it's gone up a bit. Catherine's fuck because you're there? True. Yeah, I played Baldur's... The first time I completed Baldur's Gate 3 was um, doing multiplayer with my wife. That was a lot of fun. Oh, this is unironically one of my favorite tracks. I don't know how well you can hear it even. Uh, bring up. Oh shit, my colony got damaged. Fuck it, we ball. Alright, you know what? These guys can be the, the colony management. Also, this is Twisted Force. This is 100% Twisted Force, yes. Also known as Yabuga B. You're waiting for Larian modding rules so people actually do their own D&D campaigns? That'd be cool. Mm, my guy died, but now I have a mage as my heir. Raphael's song must wait. Yeah. Look, Raphael's final act is one of my favorite, like, pieces of in-game audio of all time. It's so good. But I've just got the Baldur's Gate tr soundtrack on randomized, so we're not going to influence it. It's just going to... It'll come up when it comes up. And we can we can bop out to it. I'm gonna wait until this castle's finished, and then I'm gonna attack uh, Oldston. I like Tunga for the mission. I'm gonna conquer him for the mission or vassalize him. Gobi, Gobi. Oh, come on. Don't run away. Whoops. That was not intentional.
Did I know the hold of Ovdal Azra being collapsed to stop an orcish invasion in Kukdir in Enbanalo is entirely because Jay's D&D group played Faulkner Azra's expedition to Ovdal Azra as a campaign that was the outcome in their game? I did know there was something to do with that, yeah. I wouldn't have been able to tell you exactly what happened, but I knew there was certain elements that were very much impacted by their game. And we can also now do Settlement Consolidation, Extra Colonist, Settler Chance plus 15, and four roads, which is all of my roads, will be repaired. Fucking beautiful. Or copper, copper, shitty wool, but yeah, whatever. Where was Ovdal Azra? Uh, Kogdir was at Ovdal Azra, right? Or did it just get renamed to Cook Deer? I think. I don't know. Cook Deer was the sister hold. Was it like underneath it, maybe? Also, in case you're wondering, I'm not doing the. I don't want to dev. I'm not doing uh, lazy colonists because I'm going to put the colonist here. Ba -ba -bum. Hey, Doos Greg is going to get better now. You believe Ovdal Azra was in the province now called Azra Depths? Yeah, unfortunately, I can't see that. Corvuria? Fucking Corvuria? Music at the... Look, the, the soundtrack to me figuring out that that was Corvuria, very appropriate. Big appreciate. About to fight Corvaria. This is necessary. I can't stop it from being covering. When I form more Galavar, it's going to be fine. Oh, do I want to... 
Do I want to rush him? Thing is, because I haven't done any of this. And then I need my capital to be in a hold. So we're going to have to do something like that. Capital in Argordston for a while. Unfortunately, I can't send a colonist. So it will be Culverian. Bum, 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 bum. Burn it, maybe. He's just going to colonize it again. I can, in fact, send a colonist. I, I cannot. In I cannot, in fact, send a colonist. Like, when I form Orgalivar, which I should be able to see now, yeah. It changes the primary culture of Orgalivar, I think. No, it doesn't. Uh, fuck it. I guess we'd just be at war for a little while. I get 75% culture conversion cost, though. That's true. I'm going to be using that on our Goldstone for sure. Think all your holds in their own areas get set the right culture roughly at the time the hold curse happens? I don't think so. I don't know of any event that does that. Yeah, in 7, our Horde Curse is disabled. But, I mean, he wasn't saying about Horde Curse other than that it was roughly around then. Uh, whoa. It's definitely a hidden event which flips holds to their unique cultures. Um, if you become if you become an empire, then it really doesn't matter. But empire is kind of a little bit too late. Might as well make my army cheaper.
Hold oh, it's it's actually the Horde curse that does that? I didn't know that. But yeah, there is no Horde curse. Accommodation with the natives is great to get. Iron is good. Take that tech. Are people colonizing? Oh no. Oh no. Oh, this ain't. I mean, there's Vanail, I guess? They're the only ones that have taken fucking expansion ideas. Vanail is going to be definitely the one that gets. Uh, I mean, they're at least it's going to form. We're going to get colonialism. But like, damn. Oh, the music in this fucking game is so good. Probably isn't even trying to come down. Makes sense. And now I can colonize Zogilovar. Oh, hello there. Well, now I have the war goal. <laughs> I literally own the war goal. Uh, I can only afford level one. Oh, I have another expedition. Well, let's finish the war first. I'm tempted to go out and murder him. But I really don't really want to just like... I don't know what's here. I don't know what's here. We restored Shazda there. Let's go. 500 population it seems like a great amount that would finish it uh, As it stands my adventure unity is dropping or oh, we're gaining still actually because the number of provinces Minus 25 that sucks, but hey Finishing a province and being able to move on seems like a good compromise So here, 46. And we'll do that. 36. I don't want to dev this because I need to dev the capital and I want to use my extra dev points from the expeditions. I want to use that on this. Fuck it, let's go and attack him. Oh, I was right! I was right! Am I going to kick his ass anyway? I was so right! I'm still correct! Trust! Trust the- Oh my god, I fucking shat on him! Holy! Suck on it! Oh no! Silverforge! I don't want to fight other dwarves! This, this is outrageous! This is unfair! But I'll uh, fight a defensive fight in the woods, though. He's fine to me. 
Yeah, go fuck yourself. I did not want to fight that one, though. Oh. How about no? Oh, come on, just give me a fucking white piece, you prick. There we go. Bye-bye. My province. Mine. Oh, it's not about... I don't, I don't care about fighting other dwarves. It's, it's just... They're probably stronger dwarves than these fucking, you know, cast iron wannabes. Alright, so uh, Goldston, you are in need of an repair. Ogilava is being colonized. I can convert things, I don't wanna. Um, and the Serpent's Reach is a playground for us to play in. Um, we'll be. You know what? Can I actually annex you? If I just send you like a 25, 30, 50, 50 gift? 186, we're, we're close, we're close. 188, one month. I can annex him, actually. Well, alrighty then. Don't know why my uh, colonization range can actually reach it, but pff, whatever. Gaining adventure unity is nice. Because I'm not gonna gain it very fast anymore. Yeah, it's it's dripping away. Too many provinces. Family heirloom. And stability. Sounds good. And here as well, I'm going to expand infrastructure twice. I'll actually make this go faster. We're also gonna expand this twice. World Trade Center on the capital. We're gonna dev. Oh, we're gonna dig this as soon as it's repaired. Or actually, I might not need to. What what level are we? Actually, ruined. Goddamn. It's already dig two. Hunger keeps wanting alliance. Sure. Is that an? Is that? You're not a remnant. Well, fuck you then. They're coming out the fucking walls. Wait, it's, it, they instantly. I was stood here, motherfuckers. Hopefully, that didn't ruin it. It's infested, but it already was. Sea dwarves are bros. Sea dwarves are going to be my vassal. That's the thing. Maybe we can get to vassalization through... No, they have more than 100 development. There's no way. If I have them... No, no. They're over 100 deve development. And there's never a chance... Oh, with a mission tree? Fine, next time they ask. If the MT lets me, then sure. Yeah, Pioneer's in charge is good now. You've only got 21k. 
Now have a border with you. We need to civilize the realm against these vile beasts. Zero natives there, so we're fine to bring the entire army away. Population in Orgelava, and I get settler chance. Orgelava is completely colonized. We're instantly going to build a fort there. All right, and the next time we play, I'm going to go to war with Kerakianba. But right now, I am going to end the stream here. I have had a good time. I hope you guys have had a good time too. Um. We're not all Orgelavar yet, but we will probably be Orgelavar by the next time we play. Um, who needs Mithra when you have glass? Me? I'm not. I'm not forming. I'm not forming Orgelavar today. I'm not doing it. I ain't doing it. It's just not. It's not happening. Uh, but I will. I will save it now. Um, and I would like to, before I leave, show you one thing. If you were not aware, Orgelva has a fucking gorgeous map color. Look at that! Look at that! That's so nice! It's so rich! It's beautiful! Um, Ideas-wise, it could certainly do with... I mean, it's... It's not great. Let's just say that. It's not great. Uh, but the map color is gorgeous, and uh, we're going to probably have a lot of fun playing it. But that'll be in the next one. Uh, if you're watching this on the VODs channel, I uh, hope you enjoyed it. Please subscribe, uh, check all my links in the description, including the link to Twitch, where you can watch these live. It'd be great. Um, if you're watching this on Twitch, thanks for hanging out with me. It was a great time. Uh, but we will be heading off now, so thanks all for watching, and bye-bye.